Welcome to an episode of Pick and Pop. We talk about the strange topics in sports and pop culture. It's your boy MJ and Latrell. Yeah, yeah. Woo. What's up? Lego. It's time for the ESPN Body Issue. Now, in previous years, we've had people like Vince Wilfork, defensive tackle for the Houston Texans. Ooh, mama, there goes that man. And then we got Charlotte Flair a couple years ago, Ric Flair's daughter. Hey, that's some real flexibility. I love everything about this photo. Yeah, it makes me actually want to watch her in a match. And it's kind of like one of the things you brought up earlier is like you kind of forget she's nude. See, like that's my biggest point. I feel like some of the greatest shots I have in the ESPN yeah. body issue is where you forget that they're nude. It's because they've done such a great job from like an artistic standpoint. And no one demonstrates that more than Chris Paul in this year's edition. This shot of CP3 is just one of the best ones, really futuristic. It looks like it's something straight out of a movie. It's really, it looks like he's been teleported in. It just looks dope. It's like, yo, put me in a Marvel movie or something like that. Yes, like, CP3 yeah. needs to be the next Marvel yeah. superhero. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Chris Paul is a Spider-Man. Subscribe, Subscribe to Matthew Jordan, Jordan Presents. Presents. But the athletes who took the cake were the Eagles offensive line. Yes. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That's not doing it for you? Nah. That's not doing it for you? Nah, because we just went from some creative photos to just them want to stand next to a subway wall <laughs> <laughs> and just wear a scarf. One thing I love about these shoots is how creative they get when they're trying to hide the genitalia. Like the dude in the, in the front middle, homie's got like the Jenga blocks covering his nuts. It's, it's, it's Jenga. It's Jenga. For one, it is too high up unless y'all trying to say he has an <laughs> erection sitting there. I don't understand why you guys have it that high up. He's sitting down. Yo, yo, this is my favorite one, okay? The eagle has landed. I see, because it's, it's an eagle on there. No. Yes. No, no, no. They're definitely getting trolled. For those of you who believe in emotional support pets, how do you feel about many horses? You board a plane, you go to put your bag in the overhead bin, and a few rows up, you spot this. Yep, that's a horse. I'll seat American Airlines on a flight from Chicago to Omaha. It is a miniature horse, but still, it is a horse on an airplane. It appeared very calm. It even looked like it might be uh, catching a quick nap before takeoff. I mean, I'm just worried about if you have an emotional support pet that is a miniature horse, like, where does he go to the bathroom? Yeah, exactly. D and they just drop when you don't know it. <laughs> yeah, you could just be halfway through your sh your, your flight and then it <laughs> bloop, 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 and, 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 it, and it usually does drop out so effortlessly. Yeah. No sound, no noise, just like, drop a, 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 So I want to know, like, is this train not to poop the whole flight? And, and if he does, like, is the whole entire airplane cabin just going to be stanking? <laughs> it's strong. Like, the smell of that is strong. And if you, even if a little bit, a little pebble falls on the floor, and because the airplane is recycled air. According to American Airlines, trained miniature horses are permitted in the cabin as service animals. That's interesting. I know, I love how he's all like, that's interesting. Because you know he's trying to keep it PG for TV, but inside he's all like, what the hell are you talking about? What do you mean, American Airlines? What do you mean? Miniature horses are okay. <laughs> like, like, what's next? I want to know what's next, okay? Let's have tigers, lions, bears. How is it that you can have a miniature horse on a plane, but you can't bring a pit bull? And I feel like if you can have a horse, a little mini horse that's bigger than a pit bull, you should be able to have a pit bull on it, 100%. You know, last week for the YouTube channel, I shot Topless Day. But another event that was going on last week in New York was ButtCon. And it's basically like a conference about butts. Hey, we're at ButtCon 2019, where you can learn how to twerk, take a belfie, a butt selfie, and learn the perfect way to wipe your butt. Okay, first of all, I've never heard of a butt selfie. I've never heard of a belfie. I've Why heard of a belfie. Why would it be called a belfie? Like, like, there's gotta be a better way. Like, I'd rather just call like a buddy or something. Like a butt fee or something like that. I just think it's strange that you're trying to teach people how to wipe their butts. Like, if you don't know by now, you ain't never gonna learn. You know how you got the girls with the long fingernails and just like, and we always say that when your fingernails are long, how you wipe your butt? I feel like that, this could be for them. I'm at ButtCon because my butt has been 
she's just my massaging career. her cheeks with that cake. My career. Like she's about to have this frosting just emanating from those pores. I mean, some if that's your thing. Hey, different strokes for different folks. And my whole thing, like, do you eat it after or are you just wasting cakes for people's sexual pleasures? And then we got the kissing booth. Would you rather kiss an ass or get your ass kissed? Oh, can I say both? She looked like somebody that just, like, was like probably one of her friends, like, yeah, I'll go with you, girl. Let me just go and just see what happens. So she probably bought that there, put it on her face, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to be an ass today. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Because How should people be having anal sex? My really graphic tip would be push out while they go in. <laughs> How would you describe the ideal poop? Yes, it should be like soft, not hard, but together and a little bit floaty. See? That right there, go. go. This, right fool, there. this fool said a little floaty. What does that mean that, that if it's too dense, that's not good? Nope. Like, like, like you're not eating enough vegetables, you gotta make sure it's just light enough, just buoyant enough to float. What's the number one thing you need to know if you're gonna start twerking? Confidence. Period. Yes, confidence, freedom. Yo, man, they got people twerking who have no business twerking. You like butt play. Butt play? Absolutely. I am the orgasm and orifice specialist. What's a go-to move that someone can do with their butt? Poke it out. Poke it out. Lower back. Lower back. <laughs> See, like, pop, pop. You guys, I'm not made to do this. You right. You ain't meant to do that. Keep asking questions. You are definitely not made to do that. How would you describe your butt or your butthole in three words? Stretchy, painful, uh, used and tired. Yo. Yo, she said painful, used, and tired. Like her homegirl's like, why are you putting our business out there in the street like that? How much anal sex you having at your booty hole is tired. And did she say abuse? Girl, you, woo. <laughs> I just woo. love the look on her homegirl's face. Homegirl's just like. That's a fun girl right there. Girl, How much who are you the, messing with? Who, who, who is it? Come on now, out Yo. with it, out with it. I like Anderson's. And now it's time for the viral victory of the week. Now, some people say that Shake Shack is the best burger spot. Others say In-N-Out. And a lot of people down south say Whataburger. So apparently a mouse was found at Whataburger. Look at that shit. Come on. I love this guy. So if you get it, get your food, I'll give you your money back. I think you'll have to give your money back to all those customers. Yeah. There might be mouse droppings in that burger. That might be the secret sauce. What? How'd you, how'd you pick it up? Yeah, you take my home and you want to. He said, can I pick it up? Like, you can take a damn thing with you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I love yeah. that this has to be like in the South. Yo, south. I love the South. This I love the South. To this dude really right. trying to catch this rat. Shit don't even work here. It's Miss Catch a Rat. <laughs> oh, oh, when did it green? Oh, I know, I almost oh, jumped out my seat. Oh, it's frog, oh, oh, deep frog rat. Oh. oh. Hey, when it's cooked, oh, it'll oh, float oh, up oh, to the top. <laughs> he said, when it's cooked, it'll float up to the top. How does he know that? Has he deep fried rat oh before? How does he know? And then, and then I love, I love this lady's expression. She's like, I don't know how to turn it off. I don't know how to turn it off. Who else needs a refund? Me. Who else need a refund? It's deep fried a mouse. <laughs> it's a hard rat life for us. It's a hard rat life for us. Instead of treated, we get dipped. Thanks again for watching Pick and Pop with your boy Latrell. Yeah. Make sure to share, like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. Until next time.